What's up, guys? Mike here at the farm. Loading up the Jeep, and we're gonna go take a ride out on the South Carolina adventure route. We're gonna go to a pretty cool place. It's called the Battle of Camden Historical Monument or something like that. We'll, we'll explain it when we get there. <laughs> but anyway, come along with us. Let's load up. Come on, puppy dog. Ready? Come on. You wanna get in? There's the pop. Okay. Did you ever have a GPS that like to take you on back roads? How about a GPS that likes to take you on Jeep roads? GPS just pulled us off of a four lane highway to go this way. <laughs> I have no idea why, but I kind of like it. So we're going to roll with it. <laughs> something. Puppy, what's this? It's crazy, huh? Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we can go that way. Battle of Camden, Great Road Trail. Can't see what the rest of it says. Closed to all motor vehicles. Bicycles okay. Walking is okay. Battle of Camden. Do 
neat history. There's a lot of history here in South Carolina during the Revolutionary War, as well as the Civil War. Do you think there's something in the inside, like a museum or something? I don't know. I don't think there is much of a museum. I guess they're working on one or something. But this is just like a trail and forest. Yeah, just a memorial spot to the 900. Nine, I think the count was 900 men killed or wounded in this battle. Here in Camden? <coughs> yep at this battlefield. One of the one of the uh, what am I trying to say? One of the generals that was leading the battle for the American side <coughs> the Continental Army was mortally wounded here and I think there is a headstone What's his last name, Camden? No. no. His last name. I don't remember. We'll see it. They're fighting with who? The British. Oh, so the British this, came here? This was this battle was in August of 17, 1780. I will leave there first and then we'll just go through and you come back. Yeah. <laughs> you kicking up the dust, puppy dog? <laughs> Ash, you're t all twisted up. There you go. There you go. That's my Ashley dog. Hi, sweet pie. <laughs> Best friend. This is also a refuge for long needle pine trees, I guess. What was that? Those are the long needle pines. Look at the length of those. These are pretty long needles. Long needle pine trees. I think they planted these. They're kind of in straight lines. Force fighting under General Lord Cornwallis at the Battle of Camden. Hmm. 
That looks like a trail over there, isn't it? Or do you want to go that way? It's up to you. As long as it's allowed, everyone has to be cut by helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know how to do it, she jumped. <laughs> she jumped over. A lot of bush. What can you do? What can you do? She <laughs> just <laughs> I think they logged this or something. Yeah. Because it's this like. For people. Yeah, let's go this way. Look at us! We need to walk with her in more bushes because she's so funny. <laughs> Carry her own water bottle. Yeah. <clears throat> you need to be responsible about carrying your thing. What are you eating? You have a mouthful of pine needle. Thank you very much. Let me have it. Let me have it. Mushroom. Oh, shit. That's not good for you, you knucklehead. My dog's eating mushrooms. That's probably not good. <laughs> Gosh. Well, this is a... This is the forest. This is the forest. <laughs> We're kind of looking around and saw a couple of markers. But when we drove in to the first spot, there was a big sign that said Battle of Camden coming soon. So, huh. It's a pretty solemn place though. I mean, shoot. I just got hit in the face by a grasshopper. <laughs> There's like hunting here, but... I don't think that they are allowed to hunt on. This is national, this is national, uh, what do you call it? Preserve, a national preserve, yeah, and the, the... historic site. That's the one I was looking for. The trees are not for birds. It's like pine tree. The one that's when we saw some people hunting, the trees are not like this. Yeah. yeah. Let's go this way. I hope there's some lake somewhere. I don't think there's a lake here. That's like a big. Uh, I see a fence or something or a bench. Looks like they will. Yeah. I wish I can remove Ashley and her leader. Yeah. She's just not ready for that yet. She doesn't get sick from that mushroom. Mm -hmm. Screwball. Mm -hmm.
after that maybe there is some bun that is not big to me what is that? <laughs> <laughs> unexploded ordnance uxo yeah. uh i don't think we have to worry about that it's a nice fire pit Oh, I hear a helicopter. <laughs> huh? Didn't see what? I didn't see any brassicas. Oh, you hit me right in the face. So back in the colonial days, baby, they used to fight differently than we do now. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's an osprey. I don't know if you can see it. Did you fight by sword? No, they used guns and cannons, but they lined up. They lined up a a line of men and then a line behind <coughs> and they would walk towards each other stop and shoot standing or kneeling So it was pretty brutal. <laughs> this is one of the battles that turned the tide, apparently. It's really pretty here. We're gonna take a walk around. Take a look. Bye. Some information about the battle. It's hard to read. That's a reflection. Exact American losses never known. Somewhere between five and 900 killed or wounded, 700 taken prisoner, all artillery, wagons, and supplies captured. Worst American field defeat in the Revolutionary War.
And they have a porta potty if anybody dares to use it. Directed by Hobkirk Hill Chapter Camden, 1909. This is the battlefield. Whew. The Eagle Loop Trail. The Eagle Loop Trail is self-guided trail through the long through a long leaf garden. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for coming, baby. I love history. Yes. It's really beautiful to see the real deal. Yeah. What do you think, Ashley? The baby. What do you think? Should we go for a walk? Want to go more walking? Let's go. Baby's tired. Oh, I'm tired. I know it's coming out already. Her tongue. Yeah. Oh. You need to be active, Ashley, because this is your world. The forest. The Forest of 1780. Continental and British armies fought on this Revolutionary War battlefield in 1780. This forest looked quite different. This was a mature virgin longleaf pine forest filled with almost exclusively the longleaf pines as old as 400 years. Some of the trees were four feet in diameter and 150 feet tall. The forest floor was covered with grasses and pine needles instead of woody shrubs and oak trees. The longleaf had straight trunks with few limbs and spaces between the huge trees were very large, up to 20 feet apart. It was a different world then. Southeast United States was covered with 90 million acres of longleaf forest that spread from southeastern Virginia to East Texas. Overharvested longleaf settlers knocked them down. Wow. <laughs> Longleaves hurt. Mm. Pine needles are sharpie. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> During summer months. Thunderstorms start fires and knock everything down, and then it all regrows.
the benefits of forest fires. Hmm. So we need the fires. We need the fires. To burn away the, the long underbrush. Live, a long-lived ecosystem without a fire is like a rainforest without a rain. Wow. That's, that's amazing. That's new. That's new for you. It's a balance. <laughs> it's not always a bed of roses. It's also a bed of nature. Many animals that lived in the Longleaf Forest had adapted to the environment. Gophers, tortoises, gopher tortoises dug deep burrows in the sandy soil. Red cockaded woodpeckers, woodpeckers, wait, red cockaded woodpeckers used long leaf for nests. Fox squirrels large enough to chew open the large green pine cones. Indigo snakes, butterflies, bees, and insects, wild turkeys. Ah, really, the woodpeckers. <laughs> the woodpecker. Before it used to be just in the book. Oh, baby, what is this? What? Like a rubber. That's they sap. Have some, they that's have the some sap from sap. the tree. Yeah, that's cool. Like a rubber. Oh, we miss a rubber tree. I know. Right? This is the long leaf. Yeah. That's are. pretty amazing, those are. <laughs> but not all the trees are sap. Yeah. But that one is very sappy. All trees have sap. Okay. The yeah. one that I like a lot, when we are walking in my house, the area that they remove all the things. <gasps> they know we're here. Yeah. What, what are those? Crow. Uh-oh. What, what is the trees that remove all the that is one and then they become like so white that it's like they are you eucalyptus the one that smells good yeah it's like they go like blota <laughs> 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 the tree the trees are so white <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean it'll make you white yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so cool yeah It takes three years for them to drop their pine cones. Oh. Or pine seeds, I should say. Huh. Ashley, what did you learn? Huh? Boy. She learned that there's lots of sticks and mushrooms and all kinds of stuff to chew on as she walks through the forest. <laughs> and she learned that she just needs to walk, not to jump on the ground. <laughs> Pretty soon she's going to be like, wow, wow, wow. So this is what the 60s was like, huh? <laughs> That's so funny when she jumped. <laughs> Long yeah, <laughs> they kind of got away from the battlefield stuff, but it's nice to know. Oh, this is a sapling thing. Long leaf life stages. Six to ten feet in height.
you go, baby. No, I don't like the. I know that because I don't know why Ashley is eating like those a smaller one, but there is a sharp thing in there. She's just a silly she, dog. She likes to bite, to bite them yeah. like a ball. Yeah, I think it's good for her mouth. Maybe it feels good on her teeth. Yeah, on her teeth. Oh my god, 30 years. They can grow to more than a hundred feet. Yeah. Oh, she's eating again. Ashley, what do you have? The fight begins. It's always like that. She has something. <laughs> Crazy dog. <laughs> this is all new experience for her, though. She's uh, being a rescue dog. Now she can be a rescue dog. I don't know. Now she can be a provider dog. <laughs> she was a rescue dog. And now she's going to be a gun dog. Hopefully, if we can teach her. She sure is pretty, though, isn't she? Hi, Ash. Yeah. Very alert. Still a little spooky though. History comes in South Carolina. Let's go, baby girl. I'm gonna look at the sign and then we'll go that way. We'll head back towards the car. Yeah. Ah, the legend. No metal detecting motorized vehicles. Stay on designated trails. Practice, leave no trace. Pack out what you pack in. Park closes at sundown. We are somewhere. Boy, uh, come we're, here. We're here. The monuments to DeKalb. We parked down here and walked all through here somewhere. Yeah. There's more on the other side, but I don't think it's been. So the the guy that died here, Johann de Kalb, was a German peasant serving in the French army, commissioned major general of the Continental Army in, in 1777. 21, 60 years old. 59, yeah. I can't imagine. Could you imagine leading a military into battle at my age? And I'm not even his age yet. Take care of this your northern laurels time to his outer willows. Boy! Wow. Something. <laughs> Check it out, baby. Ah. It's a trail cam. <laughs> Alright guys. That's it. 
we're going to head back to the Jeep and start the journey back home. Start the journey back home. Start the journey back home. <laughs> Thank you for following and watching us. Sure. Okay. <laughs> As always, be good to yourself, be good to your neighbors and everybody else. We love you and we'll see you on the trails.